What's up guys? Today we're going to be doing another review. This is of another internet or Instagram brand. It's called Parade and they have a lot of underwear and I was really curious about it so I decided to give it a try. Now I did pay for this with my own money so this is not sponsored and that also means I get to be brutally honest which is always a good time. Now I did get four different styles from Parade so I do have a pretty decent sense of how the brand runs sizing wise as well as the materials and what they all have in common is that they're this really thin nylon material and that they all do have a cotton gusset that meaning the crotch area which is a good thing but the overall nylon is just really thin um, so I find that it does leave you with some lumpiness in the crotch area because of how crotches are that you normally wouldn't get with a thicker underwear so I don't really like how thin the material is. Also because I don't think it will necessarily hold up well in the long term so if you care about sustainability that's something to be concerned about and especially with the price of the underwear I don't think it's fully justified I do think it is a little bit overpriced even with a discount that you would typically get. So those are things to all keep in mind. Now the next thing is actually about sizing. All of Parade underwear I find runs large and this is in reference to brands like Calvin Klein or Victoria's Secret or Pink by Victoria's Secret which are the underwear brands I typically buy. So if you are familiar with either of those brands this will give you a size reference. So I have a nude thong so this is the one from Parade and I also have one from Pink. Both of these are a size medium however what we can see is if I manage to line these up um, the one from Parade is just significantly longer. I line these up kind of funny. Uh, but if we look at the waistband here, there's basically like an inch difference. Uh, hopefully you can see that this one is basically longer. I can try again. Um, do, do, do. So if we line these up properly to give you a better view, like so. Okay. So if we do it this way, the you can see that this is the difference in length. I've matched them up approximately at the top as shown. And the Parade one is just a lot bigger in terms of sizing. So typically if I'm buying my underwear from Calvin Klein or Victoria's Secret, I will size up to a medium or even a large, even though my pants size is a size small. And don't do that in Parade. It's just gonna be way too big. And that's the issue I've had with all of this underwear is that it runs large compared to normal underwear sizes and I did not know that. So that is something for you to know. All right, so let's go ahead and do a review of each of the individual underwear styles. So this one is just called The Brief and this is the only one I would actually legitimately recommend. It does still have the same issue with the sizing being a bit large and the material being a bit thin, but otherwise I actually really like this one. I think it's actually super cute and very comfortable. There are no wedgies from this specific, specific style, which I have had with other styles from Parade. And I'll go ahead and show you this one on. All right, so it's actually a little bit weird to just wear your underwear and post a video of it on the internet. So I do have on a nude bodysuit with some nude underwear and then finally the Parade underwear on top. So that's what's happening. And this is the first style. Now this next one is the sport thong in a nude color, basically. Um, I don't normally wear a lot of thongs because I don't particularly like them. This one is fine. I do like this better than the one I have from Pink by Victoria's Secret that I showed you a bit earlier, but I'm not blown away by this. Uh, if thongs are your thing, you could give it a try. Otherwise, you're not necessarily missing out. It's not super duper special. I'll show you this one as well. Now let's move on to the one where I have mixed feelings. So this is the high rise brief. I do think the mesh is super duper cute on the sides. The thing is, is that again, this is a size medium and I absolutely have to get a size small, if not a size extra small, because there is just so much fabric in this. So that is one thing that's basically, I can't actually reasonably wear this one. So I gave it to my mom. It was completely clean and she likes it except for the material is thin. So that's good news. It is actually mom approved if you know, that's a thing for you. Um, but this is also a little bit wedgie inducing, which is not great. So that is one thing why I don't love this one, but I'll show you this one on as well. Just keep in mind that it's pretty big. Okay, so this is the one style where I mentioned it's just really, really big. And I feel like if I have multiple layers, like another pair of underwear and stockings underneath it, then it actually fits a little bit better. So it looks a little bit better than it normally does, um, just because I have multiple layers underneath it. So just keep that in mind. 
Last but not least, I decided to pull the trigger on a mystery item, just a pair of underwear, and don't do it. Do not do what I did. It's just not worth it. So <laughs> this is the Universal High Rise Brief, and it's in the color called Ice Cream Cone, and it kind of just looks like a giant diaper on me, and it also gives me a wedgie. So all in all, this is just not good. Do not, I do not recommend this one at all. Uh, do not bother with the mystery items. Just don't, don't do it. That is my genuine advice. Um, also with this specific style, again, I mentioned there's a cotton gusset or a crotch area and they get these weird little wings when you wear it around the crotch, they like kind of like peek out. Uh, it's just, do not recommend. I'll show you this one too. It looks like a giant rainbow diaper. I just have so so many feelings about this it's just even with all the other stuff underneath it it is already trying to give me a wedgie which I really don't like and the thing is is like I don't think it even makes my butt look good based off of the way that it's cut so I really have nothing literally nothing good to say about this style so this is one that I 100% do not recommend um, unless you like having a wedgie while also having it not look good. All right. <laughs> okay guys, so that is our review for Parade Underwear. I hope that you found this helpful. Essentially my recommendations are sizing wise, if you decide you want to try this, uh, go for your normal pant size in this underwear. Do not size up, do not do it. If anything, you might need to size down. Um, a lot of people say this underwear is really comfortable and I kind of wonder if it's just cause they've been buying the wrong underwear size. That's what I honestly think. This underwear is comfortable, but it's not like mind-blowingly comfortable. Honestly, like most of my underwear is comfortable. So there is that. Again, the other thing that I've mentioned multiple times at this point is that the material is pretty thin. So just, you know, something to keep in mind that this might not be an investment piece that lasts you a long time. I have not had this a long time to verify that, but that is kind of how I think this will end up going. And lastly, so they do have free shipping and free returns in the US. It might depend on how much you're spending overall and just whatever promotions they're offering. So it's not necessarily risky. Um, you will be receiving underwear. So this is not a scam, which is nice. So if you are really, if you really like a specific design or a specific style, I would say it's okay to go ahead and try it. Um, just be aware of all of the things that I've mentioned in this video. Again, material is thin, sizing runs large compared to brands like Victoria's Secret, and finally some styles are wedgie inducing. So with all of that information in mind, I think you will be okay, and I hope you found this video helpful. Thanks for watching.